Access denied. Hi, my name is Tom Lai, and I have been a diabetic for most of my life. In addition, I've also been blind for much of my life. And today I'm going to tell a little story about the intersection between diabetes and blindness. You know, the conditions aren't uh, completely different from each other. They have a lot in common. For example, diabetes and blindness are both chronic conditions. It doesn't matter where I go or what I'm doing. My diabetes was there with me, and so was my blindness. In addition, people with diabetes and, and people who are blind have benefited greatly from advances in technology over the past couple of decades. Forward-thinking companies have made a lot of technologies accessible to those who are blind. For example, I use the iPhone, and Apple has made it completely accessible. When I plug in an earphone at a Bank of America ATM, it talks to me while I get out my cash. My talking blood pressure meter helps me keep my pressure in check. And of course, I couldn't live without my Prodigy voice. Unfortunately, the story of diabetes technology and blindness kind of ends with the blood glucose meter. The meter has been around now for decades and there's always been an accessible blood glucose meter. You know, I looked expectantly for being able to use a pump when they came out, but the pumps have been out around now for decades also and there's never been a pump made that's accessible to the blind. I was greatly excited at the idea of being able to have a CGM. And yet, they've been around now for several years, and there hasn't been a single CGM made that's accessible to the blind. It's interesting to note that diabetes is the leading cause of blindness and low vision among people ages 20 up to 70. When you hear that statistic, it's got to make you wonder and ask the question, do diabetes technology companies have a blind spot? You know, the best part of my day with diabetes is when I test my blood sugar, after having eaten a meal and exercise, it comes out right in range. But the low part of my day with diabetes is often when I wish that I could take something other than just a plain normal bolus using my pump. But I can't. Or when it'd be great to know as I'm about to go exercise whether my blood sugar is trending up or down. But I can't because the technology is inaccessible. Now everybody's looking forward to the artificial pancreas. And that will be a great day and everybody will rejoice when that gets here. Let's not let the story end. Let's make sure that all of our diabetes technology is accessible for all who wish and would like to use it.